I'll show you how to make my chili spaghetti casserole up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. <laughs> Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I am so glad to be back. I have lots of stories to tell you, so I can't wait. Hit that big old subscribe button wherever it is so you won't miss out on any of these stories because, wow, this has been a crazy year. And I know y'all have been going to the store and it's been out of things. And you've probably been trying to put together recipes with things that are missing ingredients. And you probably have had the same thing like chipped beef on gravy and uh, toast and... I, mm, and I think that um, spaghetti probably tops the list too. And um, you know, sometimes you have to spice things up and make it a little bit different like spaghetti. Today we're gonna be making an easy casserole that has spices of chili. And you're gonna use some chili powder and it's got cheese and it's my chili spaghetti casserole up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Making my chili spaghetti casserole is really simple. And right now I've got a box of spaghetti and we're just gonna follow the instructions on the box to just make the spaghetti noodles. And this one says about 10 to 12 minutes. So I have a bowl of water up here on the stove top and I'm gonna get this ready so I'll be right back. Seriously, it's so good to see you all again. I'm so sorry I stayed away. I was mostly sitting on the couch eating cookies. Next up, I have a pound of ground beef up on the skillet here, and I'm going to add one medium onion chopped to it. And what I do is I get a whole bunch of onions at one time, and I chop them up so I don't cry all the time. And then I store them in the freezer and use them when I need them. So that's what I have here. So I'm just going to use about a medium uh, worth of onion in there, and then I'm going to put some salt, pepper, and some garlic. But you can use any seasoning that you like, but that just kind of gets it going. So let me get that started. Okay, our ground beef is ready. And we're gonna mix in some other ingredients. And today I have some vegetarian with beans chili. You could use any kind. You could probably use the beef too, but you need the vegetables. Even if you don't like vegetables, these will be hidden in there. It'll be good for you, don't worry. This is an Italian style stewed tomato in a can. We're gonna use it with the juice too. We're gonna add a little bit more garlic powder. We're gonna use a good chili powder in there too. We're gonna use some sour cream and some cheddar cheese in there too. So let's go ahead and add that. So one can of the vegetarian chili goes right on in there. And then I have a can of the Italian stewed tomatoes right on in there, just like that. I have one and a half teaspoons of good chili powder right on in there, just like that. Now I know we added some garlic powder before, but we're just gonna add about one four teaspoon. There we go, I like lots of garlic there. Right on in there, just like that. And now we're gonna add a half cup of sour cream right on in there. Now I'm adding a cup of cheddar cheese. Now you can use your favorite cheese today. This was on sale, so that's what's going on in there. 
and we're gonna mix this all together to make the sauce to go on the noodles here. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now you're gonna need a baking dish like this, do a cat hair check to make sure that it's okay, and now we're gonna use some baking spray, don't breathe this, and spray it down so that it doesn't bake into your um, actual baking dish, and we're gonna layer it all into here. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now we have our noodles drained and we're going to mix the meat and sour cream mixture into these before we put it in the pan. So let me get that started. Okay, we mixed our meat mixture with the noodle mixture and now we're going to rain down on it with some more cheese. Probably about a cup. I don't pay attention to that. I just add a lot of cheese to it. Just like that. Look at that. So pretty. You could probably put some onions up on top too to make it really fancy. I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to bake this for about 30 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. So set your timer. And there you have it. My chili spaghetti casserole. And look at that. Mmm, it smells spicy too, and it's definitely a change from regular spaghetti, and it bakes down in a nice casserole with that cheddar cheese or whatever cheese that you like. I can't wait to hear how you're going to spice this up, but I just can't wait to try this. Let me get a taste of this, and oh, it's still hot too. Mmm, that, mmm, that is home style. I taste the chili powder and the onions and it's definitely got a kick and this will be great coming up on a cold winter's night and or just any time that you need to throw together a nice quick dinner and, and it's simple ingredients too and especially from the can that was so simple too. I can't wait for you to try this and if you do send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit my website, TrailerParkQueen.com, for some great handmade items from me right here in the trailer park. And I can't wait to share some more stories with you. I'm so glad to be back. Hit that big subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. I'm so glad to be back. I can't wait to read your comments. And I'll see you back real soon. Live the trailer park way. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that.